The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... It is estimated that more than 4 million people in the U.S. are bitten by dogs. Children are by far the most common victims of dog bites. Joining us now to give us some advice for bite prevention is Courtney Wegard from Vinton Veterinary Hospital. Welcome. Great to Hi, see you. Thanks for having me on again. Absolutely. And this is Violet, right? This is Violet. I uh, borrowed her from a friend today to help demonstrate some of the things we can do to help prevent dog bites. and. Um, assess body language. I'm and, glad you're yeah. doing this because both my girls are a little frightened about dogs and I was giving them bad advice after talking with you. Mm -hmm. So why is this such a common thing? Dog bites, I think because they're animals, although they're domesticated, they are unpredictable mm -hmm. at times. Even the nicest dog in the world, uh, when provoked enough, can bite. Yeah, why would a dog bite you? There are a lot of different anxieties with dogs. They are fearful, they have social anxiety, territorial aggression, food aggression. Uh, just even being a vicious animal so all different kinds of reasons you can get bitten okay some advice that you have you have um, the weight approach which is, a, which is an acronym for wait ask invite and touch correct Let's talk a little bit about that so first off just wait wait don't so you, approach the animal at all correct so you wait and see make sure that the owner is present with the dog wait and see if they're on a leash and just kind of hang tight. Okay, because I was teaching my girls to let the dog sniff them, but you said, no, 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 don't not, do that. Not right away. Okay, and then ask, ask the owner. Correct. Is this dog friendly, right? Right, and this is great to start with children right away. I always tell my girls, you always ask permission first. Excuse me, may I pet your dog? Is your dog friendly? And you'll be surprised, a lot of owners will tell you, nope, my dog is not great on a leash, or absolutely, my mm -hmm. dog is friendly, so knowing that and it can stop and prevent it right okay. away. Okay, and then the invite is the owner telling you it's Correct. okay and then then you can touch. Correct. I like that. Okay, so how should kids interact with dogs? So pr early, early teaching is the key. Um, <clears throat> teaching them not to go directly at the dog. Don't put your hand down in front of the dog. A lot of time in the past we've been taught to put our hands down right away and let them sniff. Absolutely not. Hands behind your back. Let the dog sniff your body first and then you can oh, okay. touch, but mm -hmm. really here mm -hmm. on the body, okay. um, Avoid around the, the neck, avoiding the face and, certain, and avoiding the tail. Okay. How do we know if the dog is feeling a little anxious and is not comfortable? So there are lots of different, the dogs are incredibly expressive from the happy tail, the mm -hmm. happy wag. This is, this is a happy dog, okay. an approachable dog, ear position. So if Violet's tail were tucked completely under, if it were down straight out or straight up, that can be a sign of nervousness or anxiety mm. in a dog ear position, so if the ears were pinned backward um, or kind of in that fight or flight, but her ears were, are up and nice and, mm -hmm. and, and ready How to How about come. bearing teeth? Will they bear teeth? They can bear teeth, but believe it or not, actually panting, um, oh. sneezing, uh -huh. yawning, those are all signs of anxiety as well. Interesting. Okay, and there are apps out there that you can download onto your phone that can help you determine absolutely whether a, a dog is feeling a little anxious. Unfortunately, they're not free yet, but mm -hmm. there are some great apps that you can download uh, that have virtual dogs. They go through all the different body positions, the posturing, the expressions, ear positions, tail positions that can be very helpful if you're not sure. All right, Courtney, thank you so much. And if you have questions, of course, consult your veterinarian. They're Vinton Veterinary Hospital. They have primary advanced pet care and microchip services and pet dental care. Give them a call or find them online, vintonvet.com.